<laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get in there. <laughs> I've never seen anybody get buggy like that. Well, you got a wire on it. Huh? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> you hold the camera. You out? Damn wire. Still fighting that wire. The wonder we didn't spray coming down here. What's that wire for? That tank back there. Huh? That tank. Oh, a spray tank. Or electric. Went to the battery. We probably sprayed the whole yard. <laughs> you think it was on the whole time? Probably so. Got the thing my shoes is full. We're on the Lonely Live Oak Farms this morning. This is Mr. Perry. Blue been letting us come here and hunt for years. And after chasing the public land turkeys all season long, it's nice to get a break and come on a little bit of private land. So late in the year, this is our old go-to. Where was he? Back this way. He's way back there on that pipe by the buggy. Where you fail? Right this way. Behind us. That water goes in. Where's that at? That's the camera he came out there. He was a wire closer. That's gonna be the camera he came out there. I don't think he's that far. That was that one back there. I think that kid's right down low. We need to go to one. Which one do you think? Y'all ready? Let's go. We are Team Lima. And we call that boot home. Our turkey hunting experience began when the gobbler killed his first turkey in 1933. <laughs> We're not gonna go to that one. We're gonna go to this one. Go to the other turkey. Now, now this one won't gobble. Another one's not gonna gobble. We need to pick one and go to it. Now we're going. 
going back to the other one.
We don't, I don't know which way he is. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Look at that rope. Rope on it. Huh? Two year old. Look at that. With a beard like that. Huh? Did you see the hen go through there? Uh uh. Yeah, the hen walked through and she was yapping. And I said, he was going to be about, she was about 60 steps. And I said, if I can get to that tree, because he gobbled to her left. And she just walked through. And I said, if I can get to that tree, I can kill him. And yeah. he gone. He blowed up. I saw him strutting. Huh? I saw him strutting. Did you? Yeah. Right. Huh? <laughs> Finally. Right, look at the rope on that song gun there. So that's he's got a rope. Red huh? on the end like that. Yeah. That's a fine sucker there. I didn't hear him fly off. I said, dang, he done missed him. Uh-uh, he went down. Did you hear me call I him? I shot him in almost full stride. You hear me call? Did I see him? Yeah, yeah. Go up all the way. The last one it called was right over there. That was the last Across one? Across the creek. The last one he killed was uh, you and him. Y'all would come up here. Yeah. I couldn't come that morning for whatever reason. Right. And that's the last one. He that called he, up with... And he, kept, he called three up. And he couldn't hardly see with his eyes. And I said, well, there's three down there. And uh, 
I said, just pick one out and shoot him because all three of them was long beards and we were up on the hill looking down in the little old creek and sandbar. Mm -hmm. I said, just pick one and shoot him. <laughs> Down he, he went, killed it. and he killed it. a good one, and four year old. He was. caught him with that one. Huh? That, that was, was the last, last one he called with. Last one he called with it. Uh -huh. Probably about 300, 400 yards from here. <laughs> well, he used to love to come up here. Mm -hmm. He would come up here and we'd uh, hunt and kill a turkey, and then he'd take off and bring me to the brim pond. We'd bring him down there to the Brim palm, he'd catch him a mess of brim, and we'd head to the house. That's when he was happy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he'd rather catch the brim than kill a turkey, I think. Yeah. Well, we've been blessed to be able to come here for this many years. Mr. Barry's been letting us come over here. And it's a nice break at the end of the year to get away from the pressure, pressure of the public land and those nutty turkeys over there. Even though these aren't just to give me, though. No, they're not. They, so. They're Easterns, and they're tough. Yeah. And, uh, but that's a beautiful one. That was a late. That's why he didn't run over. So I told you, I, said, I can't believe he ain't going to run over. She know the way he was gobbling, right. but he had that hen with him. Mm -hmm. And she was just feeding along. Right. And he's right behind her. That's why. And I don't know, we spun here for an hour. I got a whole wall of right here behind this log for an hour because he had gobbled. And he was right over behind the camera there, right over there. And uh, he'd gobble, and we'd think he was this way. We'd turn and look this way a little while, and then turn and look that way a little while. <laughs> I mean, I got <laughs> a hole. Spin it. Yeah, that's good. Couldn't critical. course him. I don't know why we couldn't course him. It was that little old hump there. And we got that. He'd sound like he was right there, then he'd sound like he was here, and then one time we were both convinced he was right here. Right. And then, uh, I mean, we got the, all the gobbling, all the calling, everything on film but, but the shot. Well, this might have got some. Well, that's true. That's yeah. true. I it's gonna, it. It'll pick it up. You won't be able to see it like you would on the big yeah, camera. And I was about 10 feet away from the camera. I could have spun it. I should have slid it over there to you. Like right when I went, got ready to leave. But when I, like I said, when I saw the hen, I, had, I knew I had to roll. But you moved and you got another 10 steps on him and you shot him at 48 steps. That was perfect. Yeah, that's if I wouldn't have got the 10 steps on him, we was going to be in trouble. We would have. But that's, this is a two-year-old. And look at the rope on that thing. I know. That sucker's got a rope on it. You get our picture with old Yeller and lay him by another one, huh? Yep. Step back, make him look big. <laughs> That's rope.